Instagram reels are here to stay. And if you are not using them to grow your account and build an audience, then you're really, really missing out. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how I've been able to reverse engineer reels to create viral content and attract thousands of ideal clients to follow me on Instagram. So let's dive in. So firstly, Reels are a pretty new feature introduced by Instagram that are short videos that you can add text to, very similar to TikTok, sorry Instagram, but you can put music behind them, you can talk on them, you can add text, and they're very short. And they have their own slot on your profile now. It used to be just images, then it was images and Instagram TV, now it's images, Instagram TV, and Reels. Now what's really interesting is Reels are showing up in the Explore page on your your scrolling feed, they're showing up everywhere. So by using Reels, you are opening yourself up to a whole new audience and they are still getting so much algorithmic favor. So brand new features at Instagram and Facebook get a lot of algorithmic favor because the teams behind them that have put so much work into building them want you to actually use them. They wanna see these tools succeed. So you're getting algorithmic favor. If you're one of those people that is always jumping into things too late, let this be an encouragement to get in and get started on reels before that algorithmic favor reduces, okay? So I really, if you take anything away from this video, I want it to be that. I want you to just start doing it. So Instagram reels doesn't need to be complicated. That's the one thing I wanna share. And there are so many easy ways that you can use them in a really effective way. So to get started with this, you really first, just want to focus on research. I know I talk about this all the time, but trust me guys, it's so incredibly important. Do some research on reels that you've seen or that influencers or brands or personal brands post that you've really, really loved. What about it worked really well? Were they using specific templates? So a template is basically just a certain trend that the reel is having. So you know when you've seen kicking the shoe up in the end, catching the shoe with a different outfit or clicking and being in a different outfit or you know holding the phone and it drops and it comes back up and you're in a different outfit or looking differently. Those are all templates. They're all ways of creating and doing reels. And so have a look and see if there are any templates that you're really enjoying that you want to create yourself. And beyond that, do the research on what kind of content being shared is doing well. So I talk about this a lot with quotes and infographics, but sharing content that you know is going to do well because it did well for other people. Now I'm not saying copy, but I'm saying use content around the same lines, right? So if you're seeing content that's really empowering is doing well, then do more of that. If you're seeing content and that's sharing like three tips and it's really informative, create that kind of content. So whatever it is, you can base it on your niche, but if you're seeing that's a really good format to follow, then that's a really, really good way to reverse engineer and do something that works specifically for you. So for me, one thing that I know about my audience is that they love content that really makes them feel something. So whenever I'm creating any kind of content, I ask two questions. What kind of emotion do I wanna portray in this content? How do I want people to feel? And then beyond that, what kind of information or value am I gonna share in this piece of content? Why do I want them to leave knowing, okay? So with my reels, I decided I wanted to create content that was entertaining, but made my audience feel something. And I wanted them to feel self-belief. I want them to feel empowered and I wanted them to feel seen. So if you go check out my page, you can see a few of these reels that I've shared. They really are centered around making women feel super empowered to go and build a business or follow their dreams. And that's done really, really well for us. Or if it's content around what I want them to know or learn. Another example that I actually did was around how you can actually create content on Instagram. And on here specifically, I wanted them to leave the reel with three solid pieces of information. So those are the two things that I always go between. So I really encourage you to go do some research or have a think about what kind of content you could share that makes people know something or get informed about something or feel something they're feeling a certain emotion from that content. Those are the two things that I really want you to think about, not just when you're creating reels, but when you're creating any kind of content. And then finally, I really want to share with you the best way, the best chance you have to get on that explore page. We all know the power of the explore page. If you don't, when you go to Instagram, you'll see, I think it's the second tab. The explore page is where you are shown content that Instagram thinks you're gonna like. Now, right now, 
Reels is taking center stage on this page. Instagram really wants you to see Reels and especially Reels that are gonna relate to you. So getting on that page is a really powerful way of opening yourself up to a whole new audience. And I really recommend that's the goal for you. So you can use hashtags on there. You can encourage people to engage with you. So by doing those things on your Reel, as well as making a really good piece of content, you're gonna completely up level your chance of being able to get on that explore page. Once you hit that explore page, that's when you're gonna see the real uptick in followers, the real uptick in engagement. And the kind of virality that we're seeing from Reels right now is phenomenal. So if you leave this video with anything, I want it to be that getting on Reels and just doing it, doing it imperfect is better than not doing it at all and have the goal of being able to get on the explore page. It might not be in your first, second, third or fifth Reel, but you will get there if you reverse engineer, if you focus on the emotion or the information, that is gonna be how you can really stop putting the wheels in motion and get on the explore page or get seen, get shared by ideal clients that are gonna follow you and start building that really engaged community on Instagram. Now, if you wanna take this a little bit further, I've actually put together an amazing content masterclass where I go in detail about reels of how you can create them and some really easy hacks and tips that I've been implementing that has just been a total game changer. And so many tutorials and tips in there that will just take you from feeling really confused to having a very clear plan on how to actually use Reels for your specific business. So the link for that is below. And as always, I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel, like this video, and then comment below, letting me know if you've posted a Reel, and then also what kind of content you'd love to see on my channel next. And I will see you next week.